Today morning. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I hope you're well, I hope you're doing fine. Welcome to a new vlog. It's been a long time coming. Honestly guys, I literally disappeared, but I'm back. Honestly, just take it from me. A lot happened. I'm gonna break it down for you, probably in this vlog, maybe in the next vlog. I don't know, honestly. But today, I have an errand to run, like a lot. So what we're gonna do is basically, I'm going to take you guys like along with me to go and first of all, we're going to get my sister. If you don't know this, if you follow me on instagram i i did move this is my new space and i'm so so excited honestly so overwhelmed filled with joy i can't even begin to explain it i had actually shot a whole nother vlog but i've deleted it by mistake today morning because i honestly thought that it transferred to my hard disk and my camera was full so like i wanted to do like this vlog so my head was telling me like i've transferred it but i had transferred videos for a vlog uh, not a vlog rather but a vertical video that was a uh, for a tiktok series basically i have to redo this again i have to talk about this again and it's okay it's fine but i'm running late let me show you guys what i'm wearing i'm gonna like show you guys the house and everything later talk to you guys but this is basically what i'm wearing i got this pants they're so unique i got them from toy and uh, this one was thrifted my mom um, gifted me it's a Kate Spade bag I think it really really goes nice with the tan top it is backless I don't know if you guys can see this it's backless which I have a love-hate relationship with it but the hate part is majorly because of me I haven't been going to the gym I feel like my back flaps have increased but <laughs> we're gonna be sorting that later yes today in the morning i went for a run i would have taken you guys with me but i didn't know i was gonna vlog anyway because when i found out that i've deleted all the footage i was so frustrated let me tell you guys what i'm going to do i'm going to get like a mirror for the space i want to run mirror but i'm not sure what i'm gonna come back with because i feel like 50 50 about it i'd love an irregular mirror so if you get like an affordable one i'm gonna buy it for her i also want to put like a mirror over there on this corner right here next to the tv i think it's gonna look very very nice and aesthetic but there guys my furniture is rustic theme i don't know if you guys have noticed a little thing about this table coffee table uh this palette and also this console over here this is the entrance console basically so this one if you guys watched my studio video this used to be my bed i was sleeping on pallets four pallets which i had stuck together and basically like i put a mattress on top yeah it was like two thousand bob for that bed yes i do mention it in the video i got my pallets from blue post thicker because that's a question that i often get so i repurposed them this was actually my boyfriend's idea and this is the importance of dating someone who's creative and things outside the box because the coffee table is honestly like my favorite piece and during the night the tv console is it i'm gonna show you guys like at night because we're spending the day with you basically <laughs> but i love 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 them I honestly wanted to talk like let me just mention this briefly i need to be out like in the next three minutes but when i was designing my house i basically wanted like a specific thing which was not necessarily what i wanted at heart you know like for example i'm gonna put it, put it out there I saw so many influencers have this theme where they just do neutral colors or they do white or black themes like there's literally no color in their houses and i don't want to sound like a picnic girl but i know this is gonna make me sound like that but i'm gonna say it either way because i really did have like an experience when i was trying to come up with my space how it's gonna look and stuff like that so <laughs> first forward i wanted a white table i knew i wanted a white table i knew i wanted a white console i knew i wanted like a sofa that is bright bright i almost even went for white honestly and a testimonial thing that i'm gonna show you guys is the fact that sorry my camera is on the tripod do you see my bed my bed is white it was one of the first things that i actually got before i changed course in what i wanted for my house so basically uh, let me set you guys up i got my bed i wanted a white bed i knew i wanted a white sofa but 
<laughs> it's gonna get dustified and the fact that I may be partially OCD it's gonna nag me every single time honestly guys if you don't know this about me I get so disturbed with minor details and I'm a neat freak I wouldn't go to the extent of saying I'm OCD because that would literally mean that I have a problem and I need to take drugs for it but little things disturb me for example I, I got into this house before renovations were made and uh, do you see this part I'm supposed to like hang my my wall art there but the person who was living here mount had mounted the tv on this side instead of this side so there are literally holes over there and it's been nagging me i'm all over the caretaker about fixing this wall it's wallpaper so they need to redo it and sometimes i just try and close my eyes and and pretend it's not there but i can't see it even when i close my eyes so basically that's it about me so i went to the furniture shop and I saw a really nice, cute white sofa. But then my heart wasn't really feeling it. My heart was on this gray sofa. I loved the fab fabric. I loved everything about this sofa. But at the back of my head, I'm just like, no, no, no. I want the white sofa because it's not gonna fit the aesthetic that I am going for. And then something in my head just clicked and I was like, okay, you know what? I love the gray sofa. So I told the fundies there, listen, I'm gonna make up my mind probably by the end of this month because I was going mid March to like house, uh, not house hunt rather, but to look for these things. Also, the other thing was at the time when I was buying this stuff, I really wasn't certain because it was, I was either to move to Tattoo City or this place. So uh, that's a story for another day. So I'm gonna tell you. The orientations looked pretty much similar, but Tattoo's rooms were a bit smaller compared to this place. So I didn't know what I was working with exactly. So like I had plenty of time to decide before like I would settle on the sofa. But for the bed, the bed I just like bought a white one because I knew like I'm going for a white black theme aesthetic and I had these pictures on Pinterest that I wanted to achieve. It came to the coffee table and the console. I knew that I could buy this too uh, because basically space is paramount like it would al almost almost be the same. So I went to look for white furniture and when I got there I was going for the glossy white furniture. At this point like we hadn't talked about repurposing my palettes. Mimi let me tell you when I saw the white furniture I've never seen white furniture like in my whole entire life i only see it like on videos where influencers post in the houses i went there and i saw the glossy white it was literally blinding my eyes i didn't like that white it was so so bright and i didn't feel like that was something that i'd want in my house so my mind started shifting towards do i really want my house to have this particular aesthetic because First of all, let's talk about the different kinds of white. I've seen so many people, honestly, who wear like different shades of white. Even from influencers, honestly, I feel like that's an eek for me. Like if you're doing white, let it all be constant. If you're doing like a, don't do like a bright white and an off white top or whatever it is. Like, you know, like for me, <laughs> basically small things again, that narrows down to small things. So I realized the white, the blinding white on the furniture would not match the white of the sofa that I had seen. And I'll say my heart wasn't there, honestly. Like, it wasn't there at all. <laughs> I wasn't really feeling it. So I was like, fuck it, you know what? Do you know what? I am going to personalize this space to fit my touch and basically be like my home, you know, and stuff like that. It just happened like on one of, one of my phone calls with my man, I mentioned the fact that Oh, coffee tables are so damn expensive so as the console because what i wanted was like literally 40k so at this point i'd already decided like i'd said f you to the white black theme and neutral colors i was like you know what i'm gonna get what i want so the first thing i did is pay for the gray sofa that i currently have in my living room because i really really loved it i loved how it looked i loved the fabric and i loved that the fact that it was easier to clean and stuff like that so i was like yes ha, finally and then it so happened i was going to Isli the next day this was just basically before the coffee tables and stuff so i went to Isli already i'd paid for the bed the bed and the furniture all from the sh same shop so i got the already because i'd already paid for the bed so that one i was stuck with the white and then uh for the 
for the L shape so far, I just got the gray basically. So I went to Isli and I got like this really nice uh, illuminative or rather like a mirage type of carpet where if you stand on the other side, it definitely gives this shade of gray. But when you're on this side, it gives you a shade of lines of gray and white. And I really, really loved that. So that's what I basically got because even the gray color was exactly the color of my shade, like of my sofa. So like... I just felt like things are coming in together. I'm getting things that I love, things that I like, colors and touch that I wanted. And then for the curtains, I wanted something a little bit of gold to put a little bit of gold. So, like, I got like this shimmery gold like curtains. And I knew that this will definitely fit with a rustic theme. So, I got it slightly a week after mid-feb this place called me and they told me that there is a house that's available and then <laughs> a few days later i got a text message from tattoo city that told me that there was a house that was available but honestly according to my theme and hominess and also the environment around that surrounds both places this place felt more serene it felt more private it felt more elite honestly so that's why like i decided you know what at this point i wasn't even feeling tattoo city anymore but so it was very very easy for me to like choose this place and deep down in my heart i wanted this place i really did want this place like to work out because it was spacious it was like the outside is just vibes the crowd is very very mature literally my neighbors families here like i have kids who are my neighbors and they're so friendly and stuff like that so basically like when I got here, so I'd already decided. So my curtains and the wallpaper like just felt like they blended in. And also I knew I wanted like a rustic, rustic furniture. For those who know, rustic furniture is very, very expensive because most of the time it's usually mahogany, which is kind of like a big deal getting. So back in my family, uh, like back at home in my parents' house, they always go for rustic furniture and I think that has affected like my preference so I knew like I wanted rustic furniture I was like what's the point of getting white furniture and really I don't feel like it fulfills me so my sister had put like a black coffee table in her, our, her in her house uh, I'm gonna put like her TikTok over here you guys go and follow her and I was like ah, uh, maybe I could go for black but no I wasn't really like feeling it much I knew I wanted the rustic vibe. So I'm talking to my boyfriend and I'm like, yo, this mahogany stuff, because I want the rustic theme, it's very expensive. Literally, I've seen coffee tables ranging uh, from 40k all the way to 50 and consoles 75k. <sighs> I was like, I don't have that money, babe. Like, way, I don't. Like, you know, I'm ranting. This whole process, honestly, moving is a very, very big stress. <sighs> Fast forward. <laughs> Guys, I know I've been talking for like so long. I'm going, yeah. Um, he goes like, "Yo, how about you repurpose your palettes?" You know, in the conversation, I'd also said like, "I've already gotten a bed. I don't know where to, how to get rid of this palette." He's like, "How about you repurpose your palettes?" And then I'm like, "Huh? Like, a palette, TV console? Like, really? Like, really?" <laughs> I was like, "Oh, babe, really?" No, we're not trying to do that. And then he's like, think about it. I'm going to send you some designs. And then you said, <laughs> wait, wait, <laughs> let me tell you something. When I saw those designs, I was like, take my money. I was like, what? That's crazy. Like, how do you possibly have someone who's that creative in my, like, how do I put it? How do I, sorry, not you. It's a rare find, rare gem, honestly. <laughs> So, <laughs> oh god, I'm blushing. Shit. <laughs> the palette pulls through because they flamed it and then applied varnish. It's something about a fundi like thing. I don't know how they roll with that, but I don't care, honestly. Like, I got my stuff. I got my stuff. So, let me show you guys how it looks during the day, and then when I come back, I'll show you guys how it looks during the night. So, I need to leave. I'm keeping my sister waiting.
Hello guys, of course my face looks a, uh, a tad bit oily. This light above here is not doing any justice but my heart is broken because I got the mirror for there and then it fell and it's broken and I feel so bad. I don't know where they took pictures. I literally like had a meltdown. Like at least I really may heal, but I'm not healed fully. Like I need to get the mirror because that mirror is just perfect with my rustic vibe and stuff like that. Like <sighs> honestly, I don't know how I picked this camera up like to vlog. So first of all, this is what happened. The wallpaper tore yeah and then this is the broken mirror even the frame was broken i know like the shot is not showing but frame pay liquime bunjika this is how it looks like <sighs> but why <laughs> i genuinely feel so bad but what can we do right anyway guys let me show you other things i got from Panamat other than the mirror that crashed on me however i'm talking to my cab driver because he usually like takes me to school what's happening now why is it not okay. he usually takes me to school he lives around this area so i asked him whether he could go to get in city pick up uh, 
the parcel for me and then anilete akirudi jioni when he's coming back to his place so cuz tomorrow he's supposed to go to school i got this clip for my hair it's really cute it looks pinteresty i also got um this one i'm in love with brown and also i got this neutral tan it's a dark one but it's lovely almost like a chocolate tea kind of vibe so yeah i just got clips that that was it <laughs> clips and the mirror so I've, unfortunately or fortunately i have to purchase the mirror again but i only two mirrors were left eat this type so that, uh, i'm not sure whether he's gonna get it i'll come back to you guys but uh, let's make noodles i learned how to make noodles a special way i'm gonna like hopefully show you guys i'm honestly not in the mood to vlog i don't know if you guys like i'm really trying to put a face honestly because i feel like <sighs> so bad anyway let's cook i'm trying to distract myself literally waiting for that phone call i'm waiting for him to tell me oh i'm in garden city i got the mirror like i'm just waiting for him to say that because i don't want any other mirror i want that mirror like it it really fitted this area guys like let me show you guys the picture because i might forget to put it on this side this is how it looked like like look at that you can't tell me that mirror was, wasn't meant to be in that place that position and with the desk anyway i hope this won't be the last of it i i wish to see this in my house again because this was so momentarily beautiful okay let me wait for that quote first of all <laughs> I know I'm laughing, but trust you me, I'm not okay. Hi guys, we're back home. I just finished like shooting a TikTok for getting ready with me after school. School was successful though. I feel so tired, so damn hell. Like I'm really tired. I don't, I don't even know what I'm saying. I feel like I'm just blubbering. But I'm also very hungry. So we're gonna make chicken, spags, and a little bit of salad on the side because I do have so much garbage <laughs> in my fridge as well. So that's what we're gonna make. On my way, I bought some sweet potato. Honestly, I just hope that they taste nice. <laughs> Let me switch off the lights. Literally, the lights everywhere they're on. Yeah. So. I think uh, let's do that. I'm so sorry <laughs> for the gaps in vlogging. So I got this. Let me show you guys this chicken. I hope it doesn't spill. Can you guys see this chicken? I got from Carrefour. It comes marinated, and it was only two ninety. They're like three huge thigh pieces. Very satisfying, actually. So what I just do is I shallow fry them and then i'll put an image here of a picture that i took uh where i made fries and also right now you guys are gonna see it so let me just start cooking because honestly i'm so tired like very tired <laughs> Thank you. 
gonna make some sauce that I saw on TikTok. I love, love, loved it. I tried it with Indomie because it was like a noodle sauce. All you need is just a minute some light sauce, oyster sauce, dark sauce, sugar, obviously, and water. So. Maybe we just ain't been on the same page In my mind I'm done by In your heart you keep trying and The truth is I hide That's just the way we are Let's put this aside And now We're gonna make A little vegetable salad Can say you love me when it's like that Hello guys, so let me show you guys what I'm wearing. Oh, I can't show you. <laughs> I'm really trying to hurry up. I've already like requested an Uber. Hello. So my Uber is like two minutes away. Let me just briefly tell you what we're doing. I just finished shooting a TikTok. I'm really trying to be consistent on TikTok just because like there's light at the end of the tunnel and like here on YouTube. I'm sorry, but that's the truth. <laughs> so this Hi is guys. it. So I do have French cards on and we're going to attempt and style it. So I will be editing this like in the Uber. My appointment is for two. If I arrive there, Mapema, I'm going to Village Market. I'm trying a spa. It's called Kaya. I saw it when my mans and I we went on a date at the Harvest, basically. And I was like, oh, is that like, like what was that? Like we were so intrigued. It looks so nice and like, aesthetically pleasing. So I'm going to try it out today, and I'm so excited because hey. Why not? So I'm not doing anything to do with the face. That's why I did makeup. Otherwise, if I was, I wouldn't have done makeup, obviously. But yeah, let's uh, get ready. I think I'm gonna wear like closed shoes, honestly, because my toes are not made. I wanted to make my toes today. If I come back early, I will do my toes. If I don't, I'll have to sort something out. So guys, see you in the Uber. See you when I get to Kaya. Okay guys, we're back in the house and honestly, I don't know what happens, but I feel like the devil is trying, like he's working overtime when it comes to me and blogging. Cause honestly, <laughs> I didn't take anything to heart or I didn't rather take any offense whatsoever. But the spa experience was really, really like nice. I loved it. It was fast, efficient, but the prices they had put on Instagram was literally twice. It was twice as much, like that put like Hollywood waxing was 2500 on the, the heck? on the website I don't know who's the Hollywood waxing sorry <laughs> um, was 
on the website it was two i'm actually going to put like a screenshot over here it was 2500 but when i got my receipts it had four thousand okay so i actually texted them and i was like you guys need to update your instagram because honestly um i don't know i don't know like i'm just thinking what if i didn't have extra money like i'm just thinking in that scenario like seriously so yeah i wrote to them and this was their reply i'm like yeah but the good thing is i hadn't like really focused on the price bit because me and joining and then that mentality like 2500 i'd really be worked up honestly i would and that's like a very very for chai hotel like that's that's unacceptable how is it that your marketing marketing team has a delay on updating the menu because honestly at some point it just felt like they robbed me and that was not good okay also another thing if you're booking for kaya the spa uh, make sure when you call them tell them you want the one in village market because you can uh, the one in the hotel you pay crazy prices the price the pricing is different but the brand is the same honestly i don't understand why but <laughs> yeah if you go to the kaya spa in the hotel you pay extra but if you go to the one in village market it's affordable okay but this was very wrong of them they need to update like the rabigas hotel i don't understand i was telling you exactly what happened so i went to the spa i wasn't allowed to vlog just basically because they just have some policy about vlogging and taking videos and pictures inside there and i was like okay call me honestly i understand um i don't but like <laughs> i do understand like to some extent it did make sense like honestly i feel like when you look at it deeply it's so weird like us creators that we vlog the spas we go to but we still do <laughs> i still will obviously but like it's like honestly i don't know i, I don't think to some extent when you think about it deeply it does seem weird but I, I i don't see the problem in it but basically what they were avoiding is you capturing other people i also i went to kafour and honestly like i've vlogged in kafour before oh, but today leo ni mishikwa oh god and here's a funny thing uh, a few a few like a few months down the line these people are gonna be looking for me to market for them and do videos for them and i'll be damn expensive at that time so i'm like why would kafo not want people to vlog like in the supermarket as long as i blur people out i honestly don't see a problem in that like literally it's free marketing anyway I don't know honestly i don't know so that means basically i can't like have those grocery shots type of thing i'm like yeah i don't know i don't know honestly i need a creator friend who's doing kenyan vlogs because i want to know how you guys do it honestly i want to know how you guys do it i'm like, is it just um people with a large following who are allowed to do certain things like is it that i'm a i'm missing something am i missing something like should i not should i vlog on my phone should i not vlog on my camera or should i is it better vlogging on my phone because that's um this is literally like the second time the first time i started vlogging i went to go for when it was very very new and they're like oh no photography blah 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 and stuff like that personally me i can't watch like an indoor vlog but at this point i feel like i'm just being forced to like keep the vlog within these four walls just simply because vlogging outside like the conditions outside there in kenya for vlogging they're very very harsh and fair and honestly i i'm i'm not really grasping the concept as to why I'm, i watch other kenyan content creators and it, it seems so seamless for them like honestly like it's almost as if they just 
hold the cameras and walk I'm at, honestly there's something I'm missing there's something I'm missing and I want to find out I, I really want to mm. so if you know something about that please comment down below because honestly I'm missing something anyway I got a I went to Kafour. I'd already like done some shopping and so I passed through at cafe. This is breakfast for tomorrow. I got a mini pastries pack for Koi Song. And then Kafour, I bought a shower cape. I really need a shower cape. Though I do have this bonnet that is stroke shower cape, but I needed a shower cape because I use that to sleep as well. So sometimes when it gets wet. I have to go to bed like that. So I got two. This one's Kimmy too. I got this black one and this one with love hats and tall. And then I got curry powder. I really want to try and make um, also buko. I want to learn how to make it. So we're going to try. But now I was looking at the at recipes on my way here and then I realized to make also buko, you need a different kind of meat. In <laughs> so we're gonna make that korean dish so we'll try the soboko thing later on but today we are making a korean sticky chicken with rice so yeah let's do that sesame chicken okay guys so i'm finally having the mirror put up over there uh, despite it breaking <laughs> uh, this is a new one okay and then i'm having that painting that i used to have in the older house put there just so that the wall doesn't look so plain and then it's gonna hide these two holes until they fix them yeah so excited so i'm just waiting for the guy to come so that i can start cooking because i'm shooting content for tiktok with what i'm preparing basically i don't want to start shooting and then you know like he's drilling the wall so the noise and all that mm -hmm. oh my god so the guy is done look at that that looks beautiful i need to clean over here but i will do that and then my painting has been hanged over there at least it's over to zimia for new course so now <laughs> it looks a bit very very colorful let me show you it's so subtle and i like the orange that matches with the pillow as well as the shelves in the coffee table ignore that so yeah perfect perfect i wanted like a big painting over there but that will do for now to have to <laughs>